All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this baby has run all weekend, not stopping. So, I don't know, maybe she's all right now. Just have a quick look at the ash bin. There's the ash bin. It's all quite nice size ash, I'd say. Um, it's not been kicking out too much unburnt stuff. There's a little bit unburnt, I suppose you could say. Um, a little bit of ash that's been thrown about the place. Um, might well try and just drill a hole through this lid or something and then hopefully just sort of stop some of that ash floating around, get a small bit of tubing on that. Um, but she seems to be running all right. Yeah, she's drying really nicely, putting it out into the bin. This stuff is all bone dry, really nice. So that's good. So guys, we've got a little bit of a problem with our weigh scales here. I'm actually reading uh, minus 62. Oops. Okay. So that's all gone completely screw with. And if we go into the building, it will also be kind of going a bit crazy in there too. guys so we're just up the top yard uh, getting a wood chip store back up dried material which is good um, new dryer really helping that um, we've got a little problem with our log truck here you have to take a look at this the uh, screw here is getting all kind of chewed up a lot of iron filings so we'll probably have to get a new one of those on order so um, yeah see if I can find the old name on the crane see what we could do there Okay, so that was a nice quick fix, just Uncle Barry just saw I need a little bit of grease on that screw and uh, that's making it sound a lot better, that's good. Okay guys, I'm just around the back of the plant here. Um, if you remember from the other week, we changed a booster there. Um, I think we've got another change on this booster here. I don't know if you could hear it, but it's really noisy. on the front, so we'll get that changed off, see if um, Utah can build up another one for us. Trailer 3 build's coming on nicely. Stand through the standing. Alright guys, so last week I picked up the uh, that new bucket. We've got a frame that will fit on it, um, so I'm just going to go down there. It's on a fertiliser pallet and I've got some new pin and coat uh, fittings to come. So we'll go and see if that works and we'll try and pick up the bucket which is just sitting in just there and see how she looks on the machine. So there it is on. She's on, I'll just 
put the pins on and then that frame is very underneath. Pins will go through those holes. That's good. Maybe need to just adjust that to fit, but it's doing well on that side. So we do that side. this side sort of kind of could have come in there really Just needs to be slightly adjusted I think if I drop that down again then move that over that would go in all right I hope oh, that should uh, help to make it fit a bit better that falls well out. two buckets side by side. Yeah. Not sure I can tell. Yeah, huge amount of difference. But that one there is just a little bit bigger than that one. The stickers. Yep, this one's a 2450 width, three cubes. And this one is Two six and three point two cubes. Okay, guys, I'm just down at the bottom boiler. Uh, it's ran really well over the weekend, absolutely flying. Um, I put a bit of rough chip in last night, uh, rather than our really nice sort of grade A stuff, and it just did not like that. So the bricks have actually got slightly out of place. One of them's fallen over at the back. I think that's because the grate kept moving to try and keep the fire going or something. So I'm going to have to take them out, re-put them back in. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> so there's the brick falling over. I've removed some of them and given them a bit of a clean out with uh, the ash, with the hoover that I've got here. So, uh, and we've put a couple of fire extinguishers over there. So that's all good. Okay, I've got those bricks back in order, guys. Definitely a technique to doing it. Generally involves getting covered in dust and soot, but it's quite tight fit in there and you've got to get those bricks just right to sit. But you learn these things. So we've just got guys doing the scales there. Uh, that is coming from uh, Trent Scales. I keep thinking one day I'm gonna put out a Weybridge. Um, so we use them to put out a new one, probably around the back of our big gas bag, have a big track going all around the site, which is all access. So the lorries would come in through there uh, and then they'd come down this road here. And behind us, we've just got a lorry coming in, dropping some wood. It would go down that way, turn to the left, go around the big gas bag, round the back, come round where that tree is, where the new barn is, and out into the track again. So we've got a whole loop around the site, uh, but job for the summer, I think. It's coming out that Oh, I see, yeah, no little hole. Yeah. Okay, right, well, we better get Barry to put a bit of mending on that then. Yeah, okay, thanks, Kate. That's great. Right, so we just got another hole in the hopper, which um, Barry mended one just here the other day, which was just leaking out through there. So we'll have to put another one on the other end. So guys, just up top yard, we've got another load of mm. larch in here. Softwood seems to be selling quite well, so uh, we had to get them back in. Could have put it all on this pile here, but he's now have to come back and move it. So that's good having to put it on the bench with the little forks, which isn't the best. As you can see, they're always falling off, but we'll just go and see where the digger is. It's just doing a chipping job. So that's the pile there. There's a fair bit of nice wood in there. Go nicely to chip. So, to get the chipper over. Got the chucks and 
trailers and get this all done. Okay, so that's the new way to tell We've got to calibrate it since we're in zero, but we'll do that tomorrow. Okay, if you jump on. Yeah, that's great. Jump off. Right. Perfect. Lots of video in there as well. Though. Here we are, just following out to the field. 